akong daily activities kada adlaw. Uh, sa morning, maglimpyo, manilhig, ma matrim sang tanom. Okay, mahilig ako sa tanom. Uh, kaya ang akon nga nga artwork daw bilang ang canvas ko mo ni siya ang ground. Tapos ang mga paintings ko mo ni mga tanom, mga bato, ginasit up ko siya. Uh, para sa akon nga uh, internal uh, serenity. So, ang akon nga uh, konsepto sa akon nga uh, artwork is to commune, to commune with the universe. So, I created this small universe para lang sa akon personal uh, consumption. Mm, ang akon paborito uh, actually from painting, sculpture, gardening, mas mas gusto ko ang ang interaction sa trees like for example ini ang ini ang ginahimo na ako sa buong mahimo ako sa uh, 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 roots roots ng isang banyan tree I will make that into a form of a circle like an iglo then later on kung maglagko na na siya as big as this maputos na siya sa roots ang circular shape kag himuon ko na siya nga daw bedroom na pwede ko na siya matulugan oh. so i call this art as uh, living art it is already two years old na, na siya so i expect mga six years may kuha na, na siya pwede na siya masudlan this is one of my favorite painting. Uh, the title of this work is Maaram. Maaram, the brain of the revolution. Maaram means the, the shaman or the healers. Maaram is in the local dialect. Uh, they are the medicine man. They are the medicine men of our culture. So this is the Maaram and he is doing the gong to communicate with the spirits. And all around here are the uh, battles and revolts of the early Maharlikans before the, the conquest. During the conquest, these are the battles of revolution. And the Maaram are the ones who, who leads, who awaken the people to, to stand against colonization. So they are fighting to to survive their own rituals and traditions. So this is the galleon, the Spanish galleons, and these are the local natives fighting against the Spaniards. So the title of this work is Maaram, the Brain of the Revolution. Ano ang imo inspiration sa mga imo ginaubra? Ang akong inspiration sa mga ubra ko I think ang kwan ang kapalibutan no ang kapalibutan means environment in the local language so may dagat ako may bukid ako may may lupa ti uh, amo ni siyang ako nga inspiration every day i do interaction with the, with the waves the sound of the waves kaga of course, mga pispis sa palibot. Kag sa mga hindi makita sa palibot. Yung mga mga other beings that reside in that place. Ano ang consider mo man ang imo art? Wala daw. Lain man siya, no? Sa imo. Lain ba siya sa... I think uh, this is... It's, hindi man na siya gidlain na. I, because it maybe amo lang na siyang akong nga lifestyle no that's the way how i live uh, for me ang akong nga art is integrated na sa akong everyday living although i work with other projects like uh, making garden and landscaping to other people and sculptures to other people but kung diri sa akong place i i do also the same thing Uh, to 
be a Filipino artist is to be an artist of the earth. Uh, actually, when we say Filipino, because we live in the Philippines, but the same feelings of other people in their own country. So, being a Filipino is to love the place, to love the soil where we live. Uh, that's it. I think it's it's universal to all human beings that we 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 tend to develop love and uh, sentiment to our surroundings. I think ang ang gusto ko my my advocacy. I have the advocacy that uh, to express what we really are before the colonization of the Philippines. So, um, we have a small group, we called our group Maharlika Artist. Why Maharlika Artist? Because we believe that before the Spanish came, we have an original name which is not Philippines. Uh, that is why we do research what was the original name of Philippines before the conquest of the Spaniards. So we believe that uh, the original name is Maharlika. That is why we called ourselves Maharlika artists. Maha in Sanskrit, that's a Sanskrit word. Maha means great. Likha means uh, being or creation. Maharlika means great or noble beings and there is also another meaning of maharlika is a small container that uh, is containing lack of potentials so meaning our country is full of potentials we have just to discover it and one way also to express our own selves is to to dig our roots what we really are, what was our civilization, what was our customs, traditions, and rituals. So in our uh, advocacy, Maharlika, Artists and Writers Federation, we are composed of writers and other disciplines of arts that promotes the consciousness that we belong to the Maharlikan race. We are great and noble people.